Okay, I'm going to show you a fun trick, fun and safe trick that uh, you can do at home. Uh, there shouldn't be any explosions. Um, with Easter coming up, everybody knows that food colorings are used to dye Easter eggs. Well, not everybody, I suppose. I suppose there are some people in the world that aren't familiar with the Easter egg tradition. Anyway, when we were kids, yeah, we used to uh, dye Easter eggs, but then we used to also, also do something else that's kind of fun with uh, food coloring. All you're, all you're going to need is uh, any food coloring flavors you want. I have the basic four here, uh, red, yellow, green, and uh, blue. And uh, a glass of milk, about, oh, this is probably too much, but uh, probably about six ounces, four to six ounces. And just a plain plate, just a dinner plate. What you want to do is pour the milk onto the plate until the bottom is covered. Uh, spill a little if you want, and that should be enough. Then you can take any of the food coloring uh, colors you wish to use, you can either use one of them, two or th three, or all four. Uh, let's just start with uh, let's just start with green here. Just place a few drops on top of the surface of the milk, and I'm going to add uh, some red, and just put that right on top of it. You can get my hand out of the way so you can see it's actually sinking into the into the green so you can kind of see the red and the green in the middle. Now all you do is I think you can use shampoo but I just have dish soap here. You just take any any dish soap and very carefully you're just going to want to put a drop or ten <laughs> and watch the magic. cup of milk to cover the bottom of the plate here. Okay, almost a full cup. This time we're going to use all four of the colors. So we're going to start off with, let's start off with yellow and do it more towards the center this time. Just squeeze the food coloring and then we'll go with the blue. Kind of put that off to the side a little bit. Now we'll add a little green. So we have green, blue, yellow, and then finally, we're going to add some red here. And we'll just put that off to this side over here. This time, we're going to use uh, shampoo. It's a little bit thicker uh, the first time we use dish soap. So we just want to squeeze just a drop anywhere you want. I'm going to try to hit it right in the middle. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like I like the shampoo actually better than the dish soap. Put a little on the red there. Put a little on the red there, says Jeff. Boink. Yeah, it's, there it goes. Now we got it going into. Oh, that's really neat. Look at that. It's kind of like a, a milk kaleidoscope, huh? <laughs> wow. And then you know, if you want, you can uh, take a hit of acid and wait about an hour. And <laughs> <laughs> Fun and safe. Oh yeah, I forgot that part. Uh, that'll be uh, in the R-rated version. Put on some Pink Floyd is what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, Adrian Ballou would work too. It's still going. Uh, I'm having way too much fun. I'm going to use all the all, all four colors, but I'm going to... I gonna, told you, Steve is 13. <laughs> what the hell? I don't have cable yet. And let's go with the red on the opposite side so we don't make accidental purple. Um, and now yellow. Put that over here. And then finally green. We'll do it over here. It's kind of like a, a sad, happy face. So let's start with the the yellow because it's the hardest one so whoops i missed blue well there <laughs> well the best late schemes of my men it still looks pretty cool doesn't it <laughs> wow and you can play in slow motion so there's uh you know there are there are scientific reasons why this works and i think it's uh because of the uh free and fragment and the mizzenmazinol mix and great internal turmoil and we'll do one last drop and call it a day of milk and magic 
food coloring, milk. Yeah, I think we pretty much used all this one up. Get some right in there where the big blog of green is. Oh man, get these camera people that are. Yeah.